In this video, we're going to focus on writing quadratic equations in standard form and vertex form. So let's say if you're given three points, 1 comma 0, and let's say 2 comma 1, and 3 comma 6. How can you write the equation in standard form? That is, in y equals a x squared plus bx plus c in this form. What would you do? How can we find a, b, and c? Now we need to set up a system of equations, but what you want to do is you want to plug in the points first. So let's start with 1, 0. 1 is x and 0 is y. So let's replace y with 0 and x with 1. So we have our first equation, 0 is equal to a plus b plus c. So let's save this equation. We're going to use it later. Now let's do the same thing but with the next point, 2 comma 1. So let's replace y with 1 and x with 2. So we get an, another equation. 1 is equal to 4a plus 2b plus c. Now let's save this equation. Now we need to use the third point to write the third equation. But let's make some space first. Now for the third equation, y is equal to 6 and x is 3. And so we have the equation 6 is equal to uh, 9a plus 3b plus c. So now we have three equations and three variables. So we can solve for the three variables at this point. So what can we do at this point to solve for a, b, and c. Now there's different techniques that you can use. You can use substitution or you can use elimination. But I'm going to use elimination. I'm going to multiply the first equation by negative 1 so that I can get negative c which when I add the second equation to it the c variables will cancel. So the first equation it's going to be 0 is equal to negative a minus b minus c. And then I'm going to rewrite the second equation right beneath it. And then I'm going to add these two equations. Negative c plus c will cancel. 0 plus 1 is 1. Negative a plus 4a is 3a. And negative b plus 2b is positive b. So I'm going to rewrite this equation here. So 1 is equal to uh, 3a plus b. So now I need to use equations 3 with either 1 or equation 3 with 2 to get another equation that has a and b. So I'm going to use equations 1 and 3. So 1 is going to stay the same. I'm going to multiply by negative 1 just as before so it's going to be negative a minus b minus c and this time I'm going to add equation 3 to it so I can get another equation with only a and b. So you want to make sure that the same variable cancels in this case uh, variable c. 0 plus 6 is 6 negative a plus 9a is 8a negative b plus 3b is 2b. So now we have another equation with uh, a and b. So this is uh, 6 is equal to 9a plus 3b. Now I do need to make a correction. For some reason I wrote 9a plus 3b. 
I was looking at the wrong part of the equation. This is supposed to be 8a plus 2b. We need this part of the equation. So now let's use these two equations to solve for a and b. Let's cancel b, so let's multiply the first equation in red by negative 2. If we do that, it's going to be negative 2 is equal to negative 6a minus 2b. And let's write the equation in blue right beneath it. So that when we add these two equations, the b variables will cancel. Negative 2 plus 6 is 4, and negative 6a plus 8a is 2a. Now if we divide both sides by 2, we can see that a is equal to 2. Now let's plug in a into uh, this equation. So 1 is equal to 3 times 2 plus b. So 3 times 2 is 6, and 1 minus 6 is negative 5. So b is negative 5. Now that we have the value of b, we could find a using the first equation before we multiply it by negative 1. So 0 is equal to a, which is 2, plus b, which is uh, negative 5, or minus 5, plus c. So 2 minus 5 is negative 3. If we add 3 to both sides, we can see that c is equal to 3. So let's write our answers. So a is 2, b is negative 5, and c is equal to 3. Now we know that the general equation in standard form is y is equal to uh, ax squared plus bx plus c. So to write the equation, let's replace a, b, and c with the values that we have on the right side. So y is equal to 2x squared minus 5x plus 3. Now, we can confirm if we have the right equation using these three points. So let's check it. If we replace x with 1, y should equal 0. So let's plug in 1 into the equation. 1 squared is 1 times 2 is just 2. Negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. And negative 3 plus 3 is 0. So the equation works for the first point. Now let's see if the second point works as well. Now let's plug in 2. So it's 2 times 2 squared minus 5 times 2 plus 3. 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8. 5 times 2 is 10. 8 minus 10 is negative 2. And negative 2 plus 3 is 1. So we get the same y values. So it works for the second point. Now let's check the last one. So let's plug in 3. 3 squared, or 3 times 3, is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 5 times 3 is 15. And 18 minus 15 is 3, and 3 plus 3 is 6. So therefore, we have the correct answer. It's y is equal to 2x squared minus 5x plus 3. So that's the answer in standard form. But now what if we need to convert it to vertex form? What do we do under those circumstances? So how would you convert this equation to vertex form? We need to complete the square. 
or use the complete the square method. So first, let's take out a 2 from the first two terms. That is from 2x squared and negative 5x. So it's going to be 2 times x squared minus 5 over 2 times x plus a missing term. And then plus 3. To find the missing term, it's going to be half of this number. What is half of 5 over 2? To find out what half of 5 over 2 is, multiply it by 1 half. This is 5 over 4. So we're going to add 5 over 4, but squared. Now, in order for the right side to have the same value, we need to add 5 over 4 squared times 2 to either the left side or subtract it from the right side. So I'm going to subtract it from the right side instead of adding it to the left side in order for the right side to have the same value as the original equation. So it's going to be negative 2 times 5 over 4 squared. Now how can we factor this expression? It turns out that you can literally you can see exactly what you need or what the factored equation is going to be just by looking at what's here. So it's going to be x and whatever this sign is, minus whatever this number is before you square it, 5 over 4 squared. It's always going to work out that way. And then it's plus 3 minus 2, and then 5 squared is 25, 4 squared is 16. Now let's combine like terms. So we have 2x minus 5 over 4 squared plus 3. And we can multiply 2 by 25 or divide 16 by 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8. So this is 25 over 8. If you multiply by 2, 50 over 16 is the same as 25 over 8. If you later divide it by 2 again. So now let's combine 3 and negative 25 over 8. So we need to get common denominators. So let's multiply this fraction by 8 over 8. 8 times 3 is 24. So it's 24 over 8 minus 25 over 8, which is basically just negative 1 over 8. So the equation in vertex form, which is ax minus h squared plus k, it's y is equal to 2x minus 5 over 4 squared minus 1 over 8. So the vertex the coordinates for it, it's going to be 5 over 4, comma, negative 1 over 8. So that's how you convert it from standard form to vertex form, if you ever need to do that. So you need to complete the square. Now we can check our answer to make sure that it's correct. So if we plug in the points 1, 0, 2, 1, 3, 6, it should work. So let's try 1. So what is 1 minus 5 fourths? 1 is the same as 4 over 4. And 4 over 4 minus 5 over 4 is negative 1 over 4. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. And 4 squared is 16. So we get this. Two times one over sixteen is two over sixteen, and two over sixteen reduces to one over eight. So we do get zero. Let's try another example. So here we have another set of three points. 
feel free to pause the video and write the equation first in standard form and then vertex form. So using the same equation, y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So let's start with the first point. y is 14 and x is negative 1. So negative 1 squared is just 1. So it's going to be 1 times a or a plus bx or b times negative 1, which is negative b plus c. So this is the first equation. Now let's use the second point to get the next equation. So y is 7 and x is 0. 0 squared times a is just 0, so that disappears. And b times 0 is just 0, so 7 equals c. That's very nice. Now let's write the next equation. 6 is equal to a times 1 squared, which is just a, plus b times 1, which is simply b, plus c, and we know c is 7. So if we subtract both sides by 7, negative 1 is equal to a plus b. So let's save this equation. And now let's replace c with 7 in the first equation. So 14 is equal to a minus b plus 7. And 14 minus 7 is 7. So 7 is equal to a minus b. So now we can combine these two equations and cancel the b variable. So negative 1 equals a plus b and 7 equals a minus b. b and negative b cancels. Negative 1 plus 7 is 6. a plus a is 2a. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So a is 3 and c is 7. So now we need to find b. Let's use this equation to calculate b. So 7 is equal to a, which is 3, minus b. So let's subtract both sides by 3. 7 minus 3 is 4. And 4 equals negative b. So if we multiply both sides by negative 1, negative 4 is equal to positive b. So now that we have the value of all three letters, we can write the equation. So it's y is equal to 3x squared minus 4b, or I mean 4x, plus c, which is 7. So this is the equation. We could see that if we plug in 0, we're going to get 7. And if we plug in 1, we should get 6. This is going to be 3 times 1 squared, which is 3. Negative 4 times 1 is 4, plus 7. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 7 is 6. So if two points work, chances are the third point is going to work as well. But you can double check if you want. Negative 1 squared is just 1 times 3 is 3. Negative 4 times negative 1 is plus 4. 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 plus 7 is 14. So that works as well. Now go ahead and complete the square to convert the equation from standard form to vertex form. So just like we did before, we're going to take out a 3 from the first two terms. So it's going to be x squared minus 4 over 3x. And then we're going to leave a space and then plus 7. So how can we find the missing term? The missing term is going to be half of the number you see here. So 4 over 3 times 1 half is 4 over 6. Or you could just divide 4 by 2 and get the reduced fraction 2 over 3. So we need to add 2 over 3 squared. Now, we've added 2 over 3 squared times 3 to the right side. So in order for the right side to have the same value, we need to subtract 3 times 2 over 3 squared. It's basically what you see here times whatever is in front. So now let's simplify. So y is going to be 3 times whatever this variable is, x 
minus this number, 2 over 3, squared. You can literally see everything that you need in order to factor by completing the square. Then it's plus 7 minus 3 times 2 squared, which is 4. And 3 squared is 9. So I'm going to leave it as 3 times 3 because I can cancel a 3. So at this point, what we have is 7 minus 4 over 3. Now the next thing that we need to do is combine 7 and negative 4 thirds. So let's get common denominators. 7 times 3 is 21. And 21 minus 4 is 17. So we can replace this term with 17 over 3. So now we have the answer in vertex form. But let's make sure it's correct. Let's plug in two points and see if we get the right answer. Let's use the point 0, 7 first. So 0 minus 2 thirds is simply negative 2 thirds. Negative 2 squared is 4. So we have 3 times 4 over 3 squared, which is 3 times 3. And if these two cancel, it's going to be 4 over 3 plus 17 over 3. 4 plus 17 is 21, and 21 over 3 is 7. So it works for the second point. And let's try the third point, just to make sure. So what is 1 minus 2 thirds? 1 is the same as 3 over 3. 3 over 3 minus 2 over 3 is 1 over 3. So 1 over 3 squared times 3, what is that? So 1 over 3 squared means that you have 1 over 3 times 1 over 3. And these cancel, so what you have left over is simply 1 over 3. 1 over 3 plus 17 over 3 is 18 over 3. And 18 divided by 3 is 6. So we get the second one. So we know this equation is correct. Now let's say if we have a graph. And we're given two points in the graph. 3, 4, and 4, comma 6. And it's a parabola that opens upward. 3, 4 is the vertex and 4, 6 is just a point on the graph. How can you use this information to write the equation in vertex form and then in standard form? So once you have the points, you no longer need the graph. What would you do? So if you already know the vertex, start with the vertex form of the equation, which is a x minus h squared plus k. h is the x-coordinate of the vertex, and k is the y-coordinate of the vertex. So h is 3, k is 4. So we have the equation y is equal to a times x minus 3 squared plus 4. Now we need to use the second point to solve for a. So let's replace y with 6 and x with 4. Now let's solve for a. 4 minus 3 is 1, and 1 squared is 1. So we simply have a. 6 minus 4 is 2, so a is equal to 2. Now all we need to do is replace a with 2, and we'll have the equation in vertex form. So it's 2 times x minus 3 squared plus 4. 
this is it. Now that we have the equation in vertex form, let's convert it to standard form. So what we need to do is FOIO x minus 3 squared, which is just x minus 3 times x minus 3. x times x is x squared. And then x times negative 3 is negative 3x. And negative 3 times x is also negative 3x. And finally, negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Negative 3x plus negative 3x is negative 6x. And our next step is to distribute the 2. So it's going to be 2x squared minus 12x plus 18 and then plus 4. So now we can add the two like terms. So the final answer is 2x squared minus 12x plus 22. So this is the equation in standard form. Now we can check the answers. Let's see if we plug in 3, if we'll get 4 for y. Three squared is nine times two is eighteen. Twelve times three is thirty-six. Eighteen minus thirty-six is negative eighteen plus twenty-two. That is equal to four. So now let's check the second point to make sure we have the right answer. So let's replace x with 4. Four squared is 16 times 2 is 32. 12 times 4 is 48. And 32 minus 48 is negative 16. Negative 16 plus 22 is the same as 22 minus 16, which is 6. So Therefore, this is the right answer in standard form. Let's try another problem like this. So let's say if the vertex is 1, 2, and if the point is 2, negative 1. Go ahead and write the equation in vertex form and then in standard form. So let's start with the vertex equation, A times x minus h squared plus k. So h is 1, k is 2. So y is equal to a times x minus 1 squared plus 2. So now let's use the second point to find the value of a. Negative 1 is equal to a times 2 minus 1 squared plus 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 squared is 1, so this is just a. And negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3, so a is minus 3. Therefore, the equation in vertex form is y is equal to uh, negative 3 x minus 1 squared plus 2. So this is the answer in vertex form. Now let's put the equation in standard form. So let's FOIL x minus 1 squared. x times x is x squared. And x times negative 1 that's negative 1x plus another negative 1x. That's negative 2x. And finally, negative 1 times 1 is plus 1. Now let's distribute the negative 3 to everything on the inside. So it's negative 3x squared plus 6x minus 3. And negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. So it's negative 3x squared plus 6x minus 1. 
So this is the equation in standard form. Now, what if you're given three points, two of which represent the x-intercepts? So let's say if you're given two x-intercepts and another point four comma one. How can we write the equation in standard form? Now, you can use the techniques that we used in the beginning, starting with y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, or you can do something else. But let's use, we're going to solve it using both methods. The first method that we used in the beginning and the new method to get the same answer. So let's start with the equation y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So y is 0 and a is 2. So 2 squared is 4 and b is 2. I mean, x is 2, so it's going to be 2b plus c. Now, for the second equation, it's going to be 0 is equal to a times 3 squared, or 9a, plus bx, or b times 3, which is 3b, plus c. And for the last one, it's 1 is equal to a times 4 squared, which is 16a, plus 3 times, I mean, b times x, or b times 4, which is 4b, plus c. Now, you can use a system of equations uh, to solve it, but this is going to be long. There's an easier technique. But let's solve it this way, and then we'll use the other technique. So let's multiply this equation by negative 1. And let's add it to the third equation. So 0 is equal to negative 4a minus 2b minus c. If we add these two equations, we'll get 1 is equal to uh, 12a plus 2b. Now we need to use equation 2 with either 1 or 3 to get another equation in terms of a and b. So let's use equation 2 and equation 1. So after we multiply equation 1 by negative 1, it's going to be negative 4a minus 2b minus c. So if we add these two equations, this is going to be 5a plus b is equal to 0. Now we need to combine the equation that we now have with the one that we have before. So let's multiply this equation by negative 2. So we can cancel the b variables. So it's going to be 0 is equal to negative 10a minus 2b. If we add them, it's 1 is equal to 2a. So therefore, a is equal to 1 half. Now let's find out the value of b. So let's use this equation. Half of 12 is 6. And 1 minus 6 is negative 5. So if we divide both sides by 2, b is negative 5 divided by 2. So now we need to find the value of c. So let's use the first equation to do that before we multiply it by negative 1. So 0 is equal to 4a or 4 times 1 half plus 2b or 2 times negative 5 over 2 plus c. Half of 4 is 2, 
and f 2 times 5 over 2 is just 5, but it, it's going to be negative 5. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. So if you add 3 to both sides, c is equal to 3. So now that we have the value of a, b, and c, we can write the equation. So it's going to be 1 half x squared minus 5 over 2x plus 3. So this is the equation in standard form. Now let's solve it another way. Now since the x-intercepts are 2, 0 and 3, 0, we can write the equation like this. y is equal to a times x minus 2 times x minus 3. If you plug in 2, 2 minus 2 is 0, so y is going to be 0. 0 times anything is 0. And if you plug in 3, 3 minus 3 is 0 as well. So anytime you have the x-intercepts, you can write it in factored form. So now we need to use the third point to find the value of a. So let's replace y with 1 and x with 2. 4 minus 2 is 2, and 4 minus 3 is 1. So we have 1 is equal to 2a. If we divide it by 2, we can see that a is 1 half. So therefore, the equation in factored form is y is equal to 1 half x minus 2 times x minus 3. Now, if we wish to convert it to uh, standard form, we need to FOIL x minus 2 times x minus 3. So let's go ahead and do that. x times x is x squared. x times negative 3, that's negative 3x. And then we're going to get negative 2x plus 6. So let's combine like terms. Negative 3x minus 2x is negative 5x. So now let's distribute the 1 half to every term inside. So y is equal to 1 half x squared minus 5 over 2x and half of 6 is 3. So this is the equation in standard form. Try this example. So let's say if you have the x-intercepts 1, 0 and negative 2, 0 and also another point 2, comma 8. Go ahead and write the equation in factored form and in standard form. So in factored form, it's going to be a times x minus 1 times x plus 2. So now let's use the third point to find the value of a. So 8 is equal to a times 2 minus 1 times 2 plus 2. 2 minus 1 is 1, 2 plus 2 is 4. So 8 is equal to 4a. If we divide both sides by 2, a is equal to 2. So now that we have a, we have the equation in factor form. So it's y is equal to 2 times x minus 1 times x plus 2. So now let's convert it to standard form. Let's FOIL x minus 1 and x plus 2. So x times x is x squared. x times 2, that's 2x. Negative 1 times x is negative x. A negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. So let's combine like terms. 2x minus x is just positive x. And now let's distribute the 2. So y is equal to 2x squared plus 2x minus 4. So this is the equation in standard form. Now, let's make sure that this equation is correct. So let's plug in the first two points and see if we get 0. So if we plug in 1, this is going to be 2 times 1 squared, which is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. And 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. So that works. If we plug in negative 2, negative 2 
negative 2 squared is positive 4 times 2 is 8. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And 8 minus 4 is 4. And 4 minus 4 is 0. Let's try the last point just to make sure that it works too. So it's 2 times 2 squared plus 2 times 2 minus 4. Let's see if that's 8. 2 squared is uh, 4 times 2 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4. And uh, these two cancel. So the whole thing is 8. So this equation fits all three points. So this is the answer in standard form. And finally, let's convert it to vertex form. To do that, we're going to take out a 2 from the first two terms. So this is going to be x squared plus 1x. Now to find the missing term, it's going to be half of this value. So it's plus 1 half and then squared. So we need to subtract it by 1 half squared times the number in front, which is 2. So it's going to be 2 times x plus 1 half squared. One half squared is one fourth, and one fourth times negative two is negative a half. So now we need to combine those two terms. So let's get common denominators. Let's multiply negative four by two over two. So it's going to be negative eight over two minus 1 over 2, which is negative 9 over 2. So this is the final answer in vertex form.